The Ionity network has a lot of chargers and has become a key part of traveling with an EV. We've used it about 30 times in the last six months or so. Are they sufficiently available? That's the question for today. There's a lot of information that is made public by the Ionity app. We're taking a look at that over a period of time to get a sense of how busy those connectors are in the various stations. Let's go. Right, the first thing we're looking at is uh, a set of Ionity stations. Most of them are in the UK, but there's a few that are also in France. Um, now, one of the key measures we're going to be looking at is whether at least one connector is available. And that means that if you were to get there at this point in time, you would be able to connect. Okay, so it ranges, some seem to be available even between 7 a and 11 um, at most times in the day on average. Now, you probably want that number to be very high because clearly waiting is not great, but importantly, these are multiple observations and the experience will be mostly defined by the bad experiences you have, not the fact that 95% of the time you were able to find a connector. So quite a bit of a spread over here as a starting point, and some do uh, come to mind. I mean, Ionity Cobam is on the M25, and yes, it does feel very busy every time we, we take a look at this one. Okay, so that's a first measure, but let's take a look at what happens over time, over the duration of the day. So if we take all of the connectors, all of the stations, there is clearly something going on in terms of time of the day. And the busiest time of the day seems to be anywhere between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. And that's across all of the um, stations, but the busiest day is effectively a Sunday. So if now I take all seven days of the week, you can see that the number of connectors available versus those are occupied, the ratio is more of a 50-50, with a few might be out of service and some we don't know, okay? If I were to go and take a look at maybe Ionity Cobam, which is one I've said is quite busy, you can see that, wow, it's still available, yeah? 30% means 30% 30 of the station is being used. That doesn't mean that when you are going to drive there, there's not going to be anything available. But let me take a look, right? So let's say I'm going to be traveling um, on a Saturday or on a Sunday, and I'm likely uh, to need it maybe on my return from a trip, maybe between five and seven. Well, 20% availability. So in theory, again, I might be able to find something, but on average, that means it's very packed, right? It's very, very busy there. Let's do Milton Keynes, which is also a classic for us. Right, okay, so Milton Keynes, similar kind of point, which is, anytime between nine and seven, it's gonna look quite busy. And let's see, that's on the Saturday and Sunday, but also during the week, it's not quite as bad, but yeah, it's quite busy. Now let's look over time. And if you look at all the charges over time, what have we got? Well, this is actually over the last maybe nearly two months, and we have a probability of finding a connector available that tops up at 100%, great, that's typically in the night, and you can see the cycle of each and every day going up and down and up and down again. Uh, so there's quite a bit of a cycle going on over here, and again, if I want to select a particular station, I'm going to be looking at maybe Ionity Cambridge today. Wow, okay. So that's interesting. So that means there are some troughs where I am indeed unable to find a charger. And what about uh, our 
ionity cobam now. There again, right? So sometimes the probability goes down to zero. That means there was no connector available. Now, it doesn't seem to be that often, but it does happen. So let's have a look by day of the week. Again, this is the bit where it seems that Saturdays and Sundays, let's select all the station. Right, so yeah, similar, but Saturday and Sunday is a little bit more busy if you look at all the station. And again, if you're using something like Ionity Cobam, what have we got? Right, so yeah, there you go. Thursday, for some reason, is a good day at Ionity Cobam on average. Now, by time of the day, let's take a look at this. And again, let's focus on that one station. So what is my probability to find uh, between 7 and 11 p.m. a connector availability, uh, a connector available at Cobam? Well, actually, it's still pretty good. You know, 80% chances to 90% depending on the time. Now we can, uh, this is all the days, and uh, why don't we make it a Saturday and or a Sunday? So what is my probability? Right, so it goes down to 70%. So 70% chances if I'm gonna go on a Saturday at five to 6 p.m., probably somewhere in the 70 to 80% chance that uh, there is a connector when I arrive, which is still not too bad if it's gonna be one of the worst uh, available, okay? Now, over time, if you look from 19th of September to 12th of November, again, this is, this is very good. That's my probability of finding a free Ionity charger um, at any time in those days. But again, that's the average between seven and 11. So it might be a slightly flattering number um, let me indeed pick the more difficult hours, maybe 14, 15, and 16. There you go. So that's already a little bit more different. And let me take a look at some of the more problematic um, stations, maybe Milton Keynes as well, right? So there you go. What is my probability? Well, it can go down to about 50%. Okay. So 50%, not quite as good. Um, certainly that means I'm going to be a little bit nervous, 50%, uh, yeah, well, that means some weight is quite likely, it's a 50-50 chance, that's not, not very good, right? Um, but then conversely, um, you know, some of the days are 70 to 80 to 90%. Now, one thing I wanted to check is, I think midterm was late October, so did that make it things worse? Well, apparently not, if you're going to Milton Keynes. Um, well, apparently people don't decide to spend their vacation time in Milton Keynes. You can't blame them. Well, what would I say in conclusion? I think Ionity is still pretty much a fair bet. If you're going to be traveling, it looks like the UK is getting quite busy. But equally, according to this, if the observations are correct, who knows? Um, that means, well, it's still okay. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.